Hello and welcome back to another review with me Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week we're back in Campbelltown with one of the latest whiskies that's been brought out this year. This is a Kilkerran 8 year old cast strength and this is a bourbon cask matured. I'll get it open just now and we'll keep chatting but this has just been released not so long ago. I think it just came hot, hot off the press maybe last week and I was able to pick myself up a bottle when I was in Edinburgh and I thought oh, I'll just chance it, I'll ask the question when I'm in the shop and they had it. So I bought it, told them it will be getting opened, I will be drinking it and as we can see, we've got it open today. So this is a full maturation, full bourbon cask, eight years old and they've also brought out the sherry cask which they bring out every single year. This is the first time since the eight year old has been brought back and I think it was 2018 was the first time they brought the cask strength eight year old out. And it's been dormant since, so five years we've been waiting for a full maturation in, in bourbon. Lately I've been absolutely in love with full bourbon maturations and virgin oak cask, so I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's something a bit different. Everyone usually goes for the sherry cask, me personally I usually do as well, but I thought this has got to be a little bit different. We are looking at a distillery here in Kilkerran, down in Glengyle, or Glengyle distil Distillery, is a Campbelltown whisky. Everyone or majority of the staff work at Springbank. When they go in their off season, they move to Kokerin and then they produce this whiskey. Kokerin produces about 750,000 litres or the capacity is 750,000 litres. And I think we only get 100,000 litres coming to us every single year. But I've been hearing we we birds tweeting here and there saying that they're going to up that, hopefully to better to the capacity, more people can get to drink their whiskey. I'm lucky to get one of these, as I say I like to open my whisky anyway so this one was always getting open, finding the right time. My plan is to review this today for you guys and then review it again in a couple of months once it's went down a little bit. If I've got any left I'll end up sharing it out as well, no doubt. We reverse back a little bit more, we look at 1998. 1998 was a year when the Scottish whisky regulations decided that Campbelltown wouldn't be a a region anymore. The two distilleries they had, Springbank and Glen Scotia, Coquette and Glen Gale was not about until 2004. It was dormant for years and years prior and when Headley Wright found this out he decided to resurrect this. So in 1998 he started putting a plan together in 2004 resurrected the Glen Gale distillery which then put Campbelltown back in the map. The whiskey regulation says that two distilleries were not enough to give you a region. So we look at what we have now, we've got three distilleries there, soon to be four, soon to be five, with Dalriata and also uh, Macahanish. Distillery that will be coming up in a good few years, but they're going to put themselves in the map. We're going to see more and more distilleries, I think, coming through. So I've had this in the glass, not too long. I'm just excited for it. This is just something new the abv in this one's 55.8 percent abv it's natural color non-chill filtered it's nice and light it's a soft kind of honey glow to it is it going to be a big abv smash i've got my little water dropper here as well so we'll try it first without water and then we'll add a little bit in i've kind of used a wee slight capita glass today as well so let's get this on the nose get it on the palate have all your legs on it straight away really good and then just hang out that glass nice and light I usually get, with a Gamma Down Whiskey, a, a, just a soft coastal hit and straight away I do get that. It's quite floral. It's floral and salty. It's light, light floral, a little bit salty. There's like banana sweets as well, those soft. Yeah, banana, eh. Uh, you see, there used to be these little sweets you got when I was younger anyway, and it was like soft, it's a little bit of banana. Banana, coastal, with a little bit of salt in there, sea breeze. Floral. It's like the first hit there, the ABV does come through. Again, what are we sitting at? 55.8. Yeah, you can definitely, if you're having this blind, know that this is going to be a kind of cast strength high, high 50s. But it's a very clean, refreshing nose to it. 
Let's see what the palette's going to do. So as I say, we've got soft coastal notes, those soft uh, salt notes to it. A little bit floral. This weird banana note going on there. Even coconut shavings too. Slight oak note to it. It is bourbon cast matured whiskey through and through. This is definitely... It says what it is on the tin, bourbon cast matured for sure. Now, I'm loving it already on the nose. Let's try it on the palate. Slander your drone. Spicy, big spicy finish. Oily, very oily, and there's there's a lot of spice there, a little bit of heat to it. So that's that's been that very first impression. Again, this is my first time of the day, so my palate's not going to be on shot. So I'm going to be sip just now. We'll add some water. That kind of oily coastal note comes through again. Kind of oily, thick mouthfeel, salty, spicy. There's that tiny little bonfire smoke coming through as well. That tropical hit still stays. It's not as front forward. I think that spicy hit at the back gets you. But there's definitely a little bit of smoke there. There's that little bit of burnt out fire, burnt out wood. It's so oily, really, really oily. It's an absolutely fantastic mouthfeel to it. Would I say first full impressions of this? It's dropped me back like the the eight year old sherry's had before. No, it's not yet. But again, that could be from the first pour. I think it's going to have more to offer when it opens up. We've just added a little bit of water in now to see if this is going to give us anything different, but it's weirdly tropical and wonderful on the nose and clean but on the back on the palate spicy oily big bold bourbon cast matured notes to it it's just spicier than i expected it to be so a few drops of water brings out more of that coastal slightly maybe dunnage now yeah that kind of eh, wet wood shavings if that makes sense if the, if the wood shavings have been sitting out it's got that dampness to it that dunnage warehouse so more starting to open up it's definitely starting to relax and and come through a little bit more but yeah dunnagey wet damp wood with that banana foam note still kicking around saltiness still there I think the palate's now used to this. I don't think the drops of water there went, oh, alcohol's dropped down, my palate's hit. I just think having a couple of sips there, it's got used to it. It's calmed right down. It's so oily. It is such a mouth-coating dram. The experience is just lasting forever and ever. I've not had something kind of that oily mouthfeel for a long, long time. It's really good. It's not blown me away. It's not stopped me in my tracks compared to the, the previous releases with the Sherry Cast. But again, that, that's big, bold, sulfury, crazy notes that you get from that. This is clean. This is really coastal. Soft kind of peat smoke, burnt, uh, burnt out wood coming at the end. Spicy. Dunnagey. Floral. There's a lot going on here, and this is a bourbon cast. There's nothing else to this. This hasn't been changed around into married into loads of different other casts and things. This is a full bourbon maturation, and it's wild. So much going on in the nose, so much going on in the palate for something so simplistic. I love it.
if we talk about the price of this, £55. I paid £55 for this product and the good thing with this Cocairn, each release since I think 2017, 2018, has been the similar price. They've not really upped it. I do think in time, once if they ever up the 100,000 litres are putting out a year, the prices may change, but I'm really glad that they're keeping them the same. Unfortunately, there is people that will collect and not drink this. But again, each to their own. I'm always going to open it as well. So if I get my hands on one of the, the latest sherry, I'll get that opened also. I'll re-review this in weeks to come. Once it's opened a little bit more, get to know it a little bit, and we'll see the comparison of the new tasting notes to what the tasting notes have been today. I've got a trip booked to Isla, which is coming up in the end of March, which I'm really looking forward to. So maybe on the way back, when I get off the boat at Kenna Craig, I'm going to take a wee drive down to Kilkenny itself and see what other kind of cool, quirky things we can get in the distillery if they're going to be open on a Sunday. I'll need to double check that. This has been good. It's not been amazing. I'm not going to lie. It's just been good. It's an experience. There's a lot going on in there, which I think I need more time to sit and get to know it and break it down. But as you can see by the taste notes, there's a lot going on. It's not a one a one trick pony. There's a lot, a lot going on here, which I really enjoy about whiskey. So yeah, thanks everyone who's tuned in. Thanks everyone who's subscribed. Welcome to all the new subscribers as well. Should have done this at the start. But thanks everyone for tuning in. I'm going to sit back, enjoy the rest of this dram, and I might pour a wee one later on tonight just to see how it changes. But I've been Kevin for Kevin Grant on Whiskey. Join me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Love you.